Hello my friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Tara Stoddard and I am an independent color street stylist. And today, Valentine's launched. What? Valentine's, our Valentine's collection. And yesterday I was lucky enough to finally receive my stylist um, pack that we ordered at the end of December. Oh my gosh, I swear I get like, I'm like the last person to get them. I don't know why. Um, like people in California get them before me. That's, that's silly. Um, okay, so here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? They always look so different, um, you know, in person. And I, okay, let, let, we'll just, I'll show, I'll show them to you. Okay, here we go. So we got two new glitters. We have, look at this. Oh my gosh, let me, let me get that fixed. Um, this one is called Cherry Float and it is a gorgeous red glitter. It has like some fine, let me see. I'm trying to like, <laughs> like looking at it really close. Um, some fine red glitter and then, let me see, is it a glitter? Yes, it's a glitter. Um, and some like a holographic kind of like a little bit not I don't want to say chunky but it's a you know thicker bigger glitter anyway I I think I'm gonna wear I think I'm gonna wear this one I don't know um and then we have another glitter this one is called X's and O's and it is a chunky glitter it is a pink chunky glitter there are some chunkier red um and pink and like the holographic um chunkier glitters on there. So good. I don't know. Maybe I want to wear that one. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. This one is technically glitter, but it's an overlay. This is a clear overlay. This one is called Love Shack. And this one you can wear over any color, any color. Um, maybe, maybe I'll do this one. I don't know. <laughs> I never know what I'm going to do until I, until I actually open it and I do it. <laughs> This one looks like it has some silver glitter. It has some pink and some red. Um, it is a chunkier, chunkier glitter. And then we have Heartthrob, which is this nail art. This is a cream. Yes, this is a cream. Um, I like how it looks like the hearts are kind of done in like a neon. It looks like it's a, a neon light. You know how it has like that little halo effect like behind the hearts? That's cute. And it's a, I like the color of this. It's like a, um, coral, like a corally pink color. Um, and then this one is a glitter, a nail art glitter. This, oh, let me see. Queen of hearts, queen of hearts. It is a nail art glitter. I think a lot of people like this one. I think it's probably my, my least favorite. Um, although it is a glitter, I just, I don't think this not that I don't like it, but I don't think it's going to look good on my skin tone. Well, it might, it might, but I'm just, I can't do, it's so light. It's such a light pink. Um, okay. So what am I going to do? Well, let me show you. Let me show you. So my group, Hey, if you're watching Facebook community, um, if you're not in the group, come and join us. I'm linking the linking the link <laughs> of the Facebook group in the description um, so you can come find us. Come join us there because I do go live every Monday and you actually see my face. <laughs> I don't know if you want to see my face, but you can see my face and um, we chat in there every Monday as I take off my nail polish. Okay, so my group. <laughs> Courtney, are you watching? She suggested that I step outside of my comfort zone and I was like, well, if I if I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone, that's the tans and browns. Like I, I never, I would never, I did wear brownie points. I did wear brownie points, um, which is, but it was dark. Like that's a dark brown, you know? So Giza Sands is so far out. I've never worn it so far out of my comfort zone and not, I don't know if it's necessarily my comfort zone, more like I don't like, so I don't, I don't like 
you know, creams and browns and tan. It's, it's just not me. Um, so this is kind of what I was going to go for this week until Valentine's came. So this is Bronze Age and Have a Ball from the, um, another newer collection. I don't think I showed it on here. Um, so, but I'm, I'm not going to do that this week. Maybe another, maybe another like, blah, blah, blah. Maybe another week. Let me know if you want to see that. Um, <laughs> but Valentine's came today. So, so I think, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, oh, no, ah, am I going to do the red? Maybe I'll do the red. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to open, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm opening two of them. I'm opening two of them. I'm going to do this. Um, I'm opening Love Shack and Cherry Float. I'm opening these and we're going to, we're going to see, we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it or what I'm going to do, um, but we're doing it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. I have no, like normally I kind of have a general idea of what I want to do. Um, I have no, I have no idea today. I did not plan. <laughs> I didn't plan for this. Oh, so if you like planned and orderly, uh, this is probably not the channel for you. Oh my goodness. Okay. But I really want to see what this looks like on. And I know so many people were interested in seeing it. So let's do it. I'm also opening this one. What am I doing with it? I don't know. I don't know. Am I going to just do it? Maybe I'll just do it by itself. It is a clear overlay. You can put it over something. Um, and I've already prepped my nails. I filed them, pushed the cuticles back, um, washed them before I got on here. So be sure to do that before you do your color street. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to do... I might even try it over that just to see. <laughs> That's a lot of glitter. That is going to be really hard to get off. Um, okay, so upon first look, it is slightly, I don't know if you can see that, it's a, it's slightly see-through a little bit. Um, you know, some of them, there's like a back to it where it's like a, there's like a solid, you know, it's pretty opaque. Um, this is not one of them. I don't know that you could actually see through it. I think it's more like, um, possibly like, you know, all fired up. I've done that recently, um, where I doubled it and I didn't really like the color once it was doubled. I think that might be the case here too. Um, I really, really need to get a hand warmer <laughs> because my hands are cold. I had to turn off the heater so that you guys couldn't hear it. Um, let me just clean that up a little. Ooh, okay, it is very red on. I was thinking that it might be a little more um, like pinkish, like a pinkish red. It is not. It's not what I ex what I thought. Um, like there's. It's almost like a reddish, there's like a reddish orangey color to it. Um, like when you, when you turn it in the light, it's um, like when it hits a certain, a certain way, it looks, I can see like a, like a bronze, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like a bronze, like an orangey, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, come on. Let me just, uh, never, uh, okay. I used to have such trouble. I remember when I first started making these videos, um, like the placement, I mean, it still gets me. It still gets me. But I remember at the very beginning, like the placement always uh, got me more than it does now, I think. Um, now I just, yeah. I mean, I've always been kind of meh about it. Like, it is what it is. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to see your mess up. Um, all right. Oh, my gosh. My hands. My hands are so cold. Okay. I 
you know what we're gonna do because why not why not I'm gonna do this just not over anything I'm just putting this on just by itself um we'll see what it looks like you know what though hang on you know what <laughs> I just I just want to see what it looks like I want to see what it looks like maybe I don't like it I don't know I so I I have my um I want to say five eighths circle hole punch um and I use this when I want to do a french tip uh, so I took off the plastic I'm going to put this in and kind of in the in the middle all right let's see I'm going to do a french tip on here I'm going to do a French tip and then that way I can also see what it looks like over and that was really crooked. <laughs> That's okay. You're not really going to notice anyway because I am going to put the glitter over it. So you're not even going to really see. Um, all right, here we go. And then I'm going to put this over the top of it just for a little extra oomph. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do, for this side, I'm gonna do it with, with no French tip. I just wanna see what it looks like. Um, and maybe it can help you decide on, you know, what, however you wanna do it. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Maybe you wanna try it over a different color. I actually really like that. I wouldn't mind doing a whole, manicure with um with that I do like that it reminds me of almost of the um I did for Halloween I did a um okay I did a a red French tip and I made it look like um what was it like the vampire I made it look like a vampire this obviously is not <laughs> it's not Halloween Oh my gosh. Okay. So for this one, I, do I want to? Yes. I, yes. I, I want to see it. I'm going to see it. So here we go. We're going to see what it looks like just by itself. Cause it's nice to, it's nice just to see what it might look like alone. You know? All right, here we go. Let me, oh, chunkier glitters get me every time. Um, what helps with that is if you let it cure, like let it sit for a while, um, and then you can take nail clippers and then if there's any hanging over, like there's some hanging here, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to rip them off. Um, but if it's going to bother you to have like some chunks missing, it's more so if you're wearing like the, like a color, like if you're putting this on and it's chunky, um, this you don't really notice if you take off some of the clear part. Um, use nail clippers to like clip it off the rest of it. All right. So which one do you like better for the ring fingers? Um, do you like it with the French tip or you like it alone? I think I'm liking that French tip. You know what I'm also going to do? <laughs> We're going to get a little... A little bananas up in here get off and I'm gonna see what it looks like over the red like over the full red maybe it doesn't change it that much I don't know we're gonna see oh, it's so cold in here I know you all tell me I know I know get myself a little desk heater a little hand warmer Oh, I keep talking about it. I keep talking about it and then I just don't, I don't do it. Um, Cause I know by the time I actually do it, the weather's probably gonna change. I mean, I know it's only January. <laughs> I'm probably gonna need it for, all right. Do we like it alone or alone or with the, with that over it? I think I'm liking it with it over it. Um, and I think I like it because it is a little orangey for my taste. 
I think it is. Um, which I wasn't expecting. I was not expect. I was hoping that it was more like my favorite, favorite red. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Like Lustenberg or something like that. Um, that was my most, okay, I'm not doing that one. That was my most favorite red ever. And I was really hoping it was like the same thing, just with a different name or close to it. And it's not. Um, I think we're going to, what I am going to do is French tips for the rest of them. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do French tips and I'm going to use that over it because I like, I really like how that looks. Um, so here we go. This is going to take me a lot longer than I thought it probably, like, than I thought it would, but that's okay. It's all right. Here we go. Um, see how easy it is just to make a French tip. I love it. I love it. Um, and actually that's one of the trends I saw for 2022 is rainbow colored, not necessarily like all the colors of the rainbow, but you know, colorful French tips is like a trend for 2022. And I probably could use the rest of that, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, here we go. So apparently I'm on trend and that rarely, rarely ever happens. Uh, all right. Um, for those of you who did not catch me live in my Facebook group yesterday, um, or if you're not in any Facebook groups at all, um, I kind of said how there's some announcements. There's some special, I'm not going to give it all away here. Um, but we, Color Street is in for a really exciting and busy 2022. We have some amazing things coming. One thing that I will tell you is that we have a nail care line coming, a nail care line I'm really excited and I'm really hopeful that it's going to be good. Really, really hopeful. Um, and I, I will let you know if I actually like it. Like when it, when it rolls out, it's, it might be a while. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen. Um, but when it does roll out, I will tell you my thoughts. I will tell you my thoughts um, and let you know what I think. Um, and I know that there's some people who are like, oh my gosh, is Color Street going to, you know, is the quality in the strips going to go down because they're doing all these other things? And my answer is definitely not. I do not believe that, um, uh, Mr. Park, he did not work decades, decades, friends, to to just, you know, put, put our nail polish strips on the back burner. Um, I mean, when you hear his story of how hard he worked to bring this product to market, how hard he worked to learn how to create it. I mean, this was like his life's work. His life's mission was to create a nail polish strip. Um, and he learned he learned all the things. He learned how to create, like, you know, all the chemistry behind it. He learned how to create them. Um, I mean, this was, like, back in the 80s. Since the 80s, he's been working on this. I do not believe for a second that Mr. Park would ever put these on the back burner. Um, so, don't be scared. I know change is hard, <laughs> but I do not want you to worry. I don't want you to worry. Um, but if you are a color shit customer, um, I want you, and you love the product, I want you to think about, I want you to think about possibly looking into becoming a stylist, doing what I do. Um, I have so much fun with it. I've been doing this now for four years and what am I doing? Talking while I'm talking while I'm doing this. That's what I'm doing. Um, 
it's so much fun. And I am always looking for people who are coachable, who love the product and maybe want to make a little extra income. Um, I can't promise you, you know, I can't promise you that you would make any, any money, um, other than if you, you know, if you buy, even if you buy your own stuff, you would at least get 25% back, um, which is cool. And yes, there is, there is a monthly website fee, $9.95 website fee. So it's not like, you know, you join and you just, you can buy all your stuff and you, you know, but it depends on how much you're buying a month. <laughs> it really depends. Um, so 25% back, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Especially if you are obsessed with color sheet like I am and you have to buy all the sets, all the things. Um, but yeah, well, let me know. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I, ne I needed that, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me put, let me put this back on. This is why I can't do, I cannot multitask. <laughs> go back on here we go oh my gosh see you don't have to you don't even have to be perfect you don't have to do you know <laughs> just be yourself oh my gosh just have fun with it just have fun with it okay here we go I can hear my boys out there arguing with each other I don't know what they're arguing about but I can hear them. Ugh. Okay, I can tell that my strips are getting really cold <laughs> because they're starting to feel very plasticky. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have a few spots I gotta clean up. All right, let me try to get, oh, that needs to be cleaned up too. Ah! Um. Anyway, if you want to get in touch with me, if you want to talk about becoming a stylist um, and at, you know, I'm an open book. If you have any questions, you are more than welcome to ask. You can send me an email, um, team rainbow rebels, all one word, all together, team rainbow rebels at gmail.com is my email. And you are more than welcome to email me, ask me all the things. Um, and I will, I'll let you know, I'll let you know whatever, whatever questions you have, I'm happy to answer them. All right. But I feel like this is, this is the year I say this every year, but this is the year to join because we have so much coming, so much happening. Um, I'm, I'm just so excited. I am so excited I feel like eventually the people who have left my team, um, you know, if they left not because uh, they were unhappy or anything, but, you know, they just kind of let it drop off. Um, I feel like those people, you're going to want to come back. You are going to want to come back because there's just so much. There's so much. I, I'm not going to share it all. I It's the information's out there, but... I'm not going to, I'm not going to share everything because I don't know when everything's going to roll out. I mean, it could be, it could be a year from now before some of this stuff we see happen. Some of it is for sure happening really soon, like within the next six months. Um, some of the changes, but color shit has always treated me very, very well. I've always been really happy with them. Um, and it's just fun. It's just so fun. <laughs> I love, I love doing my nails every week. I love like doing all the holidays and stuff. And you know, what's funny is that before color street, I never, I never did my nails. Like I didn't, I didn't go to a salon. I didn't very rarely did I ever, um, paint my nails and I didn't paint my nails because it was too time consuming for me. I mean, okay, I've been sitting here talking to you for 24 minutes now. Um, but 
it, it just felt like a chore to me. This is fun though. I think it's because I get to be a little bit creative with it. I mean, you can get as creative as you want. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, it feels like, it feels like Valentine confetti on my nails. I love it. I love it. Oh, I didn't do my, I didn't do my middle finger. Dang it. All right. Let's get this on. Oh my gosh, my hands are so cold. You're going to be hearing me complain about that until I get a day meter. <laughs> oh, I know you guys are going to get so sick of me saying that. Just get a heater. I know. I know. I don't know if you can hear my kids in the background. I didn't tell them that I was doing my video. So they're out there <laughs> making all kinds of noise. Usually I warn them. I'm like, hey guys, I'm making a video. Um, so keep it down. <laughs> keep it down out there. I didn't warn them this time. Okay, last one, last one and then I'm done. This is a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. That's okay though. All right. Last week was long too. Two weeks in a row, kind of longer than normal, longer than typical videos. All right, there we go. I I love them. I love them. I oh, I'm gonna put something. I'm gonna put glitter over that one too. Um, I do I do prefer it personally. I like it better with the red French tips. And are they perfect? Nope. Nope. But that's okay. Nobody, no one's judging on my, you know, lining it up. Um, that is pretty too. I do, I, I do like that one just by itself. But I, this is just so cute. It's so fun. So fun. And I, I'm kind of disappointed that I don't love the red as much as I thought I was going to. You might like it though. You might like it. It's personal preference. Um, I was really hoping that it was like a cherry cherry you know like Lustenberg oh my gosh if you don't know that one look it up it was so good it was so I'm I'm hoping I'm remembering the name correctly uh it was one of my is my favorite red of all time and yeah so I'm comparing all the reds now I'm comparing them all to that one because it was my favorite all right friends that's all I have for you today thank you so much for watching and tuning in um be sure to come and join join us in the Facebook group if you're on Facebook. If not, that's okay. Um, I will see you next Tuesday for a brand new video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next week. Do you want to see Giza Sands or maybe something else? Um, let me know. Bye, friends.